Let's go over the setups this morning so far, and then we're going to go over the uh, what we're looking for uh, coming up. All right. If you look at um, if you look at overall, this is the micro. Now, if you have crude oil, which is this is one to the left, and then we have the micro. This is a QM. I, I keep the QM up because the control point doesn't move as much as the crude does. If you know crude this morning, it called the high right here, the control point, because it moves. Control point was at this top. So this is a major sell this morning. We've had actually two back-to-back -back sells. We had one here, one up at the two times confluence, and then we just had it. We're having a break retest right now. If you're in a downtrend, guys and gals, that's going to be your biggest inflection point. We had a nice little trade this morning so far, pre-news, about the news coming out at 8.30 here with the, with the retail sales. If you notice, this was also on crude here this morning also. Before it moved down, remember, these three solid lines are the most important lines that you get. These three solid lines are volume-based. The blue line is going to tell me the most volume that's traded since right here, since this morning. So if you look in the morning since 1.30 this morning, that's the most volume that's been trading in crude oil. And what that creates, it creates major support and resistance. It really doesn't matter which market that you put up. I don't care if you trade the S&P 500 or different, any other futures market stocks. It doesn't matter. Or currency. That blue line is going to tell you the most volume is traded. So what happens is, You've got mail. is I like to retest off of that, uh, off of that uh, blue line. If you break it, I like the first retest of it. And you'll see this happen on a week-to-week -week basis where it actually, uh, this morning, it called it to the tick on crude oil when it was up here, and then it called it on the micro, on the, on the crude oil micro. But the bottom line is it actually called the crude micro up here on the, on the tick also on the high-value area. So if you can see, it's very, very accurate to play off of. I want to trade off these solid lines. These are volume-based indicators. So my blue line is the most volume that's traded. My solid red is, that's called the control point. The solid red is the HVA. The solid green is the LVA. Anytime, anytime those guys overlap over top of another profile, which the dots are price-based, if you notice the high-value area, when it was in a downtrend, that's a sell. It caught the high of 52.50 this morning. And that's a two-time stacked area. We want to see stacked areas like that. Stacked areas, and then we'll look for negative market delta over here on my market delta over here. So this morning, the negative market delta, all right, created a nice opportunity right here at the negative market delta at that inflection point. And then the next negative market delta right here before 7 o'clock this morning, Created the next inflection point here on a small M top. So what you want to do then is, is you want to play off these solid lines, but the best ones are going to be when they stack over top these dotted lines. That's called confluence. That is called a stacked level. So the HVA, both HVAs, the dots are red. That's high value area. And the solid line is volume based. The dots are price based. That's two times stacked area. They're called the high. Then you break below the control point. So immediately, if you're in a downtrend, this is our trend filter right here. Our trend filter is a magenta MA. If it's angled down, then what we want to do is we want to break retest the solid volume profiles or the price profile for continuation. And then we use negative market delta to fire in the trade. So we had, we, had a, uh, we had another retest of near the control point over here with another negative market delta. So those are your entries this morning with negative market delta over here to the right. We had some Fibonacci, Fibonacci trades right here. If you look, small M top right there. There's your J signal here also on a second test. So if you look, you coincide that with your market delta. You fire in the trade on the retest within two ticks. But consequently, use market delta to put you in the trade here also with a negative market delta. Once you fire in a negative market delta, you, you open at the next bar, your stop loss is going to be two ticks above that. You've high. got mail. Now, if the next bar or the next two bars turn green, close it out in a small loss or a small profit. If not, try to hold to your first target and try to let it run down. This gray chart we do not use until we're on support or resistance or we have a Fibonacci retracement on a break retest of LBA. If you notice, these trades here, 
we broke through low value area. You had one here, and here's multiple tests over here. You had those also to trade the market delta with. Now, another way you can do it too, guys and gals, I'll show you in a second, is you can trade off that Renko on second and third uh, second test trades, never the third test trades, but you can trade off the Renko bar on half your position instead of market delta to lower risk, which I'll show you. But you can tell, I like the micro, I put the micro up on the five minute chart beside my crude. These haven't moved this morning at all. These volume profiles right here, they have not moved. It's been stuck at 52.50. It's been stuck at the high. My HVA called it to the tick. My control point called it to the tick here on crude. And it was here also on crude oil on that sell signal this morning before it moved down. That solid blue line was right exactly there, right on it to the tick. So you can see the volume profile moved down. Now these solid lines will move. They'll move when there's a new volume in the market, the newest, highest volume in the market since 1.30. When it moves and locks itself in, then we can take the first next retest. So we can look for a retest right here in this area for the next short. This is the next area short. Okay? So you can use market profile to set the trade up. If the trend's down, all I want to do is I, if the trend's down, my trend footer is down right here. I just want to let it come and hit the highs on high value. I don't buy LVA and downtrends. I sell HVA or I let control point break retest or I let LVA break retest. It's a very simple method. I'm trying to catch the rolling position traders on a break retest or a retest of high value and downtrend or retest of LVA and an uptrend. Now, what I want to do, what you can do on second and third test trades, on a second test trades, not third test trades, but second test trades. You can see right here on this last setup on this Fibonacci uh, chart, we broke through LVA. You know you have market delta to enter on this gray chart. You enter at the close of the red. If you're dealing with the second test area, you can let this red bar close. I had a gentleman in my office Monday, and I was going over this with him. And I said, listen, if you're doing two contracts, you go half at the first red bar close and half at the market delta close one and one what it does it allows you to get in around three to five ticks sometimes six ticks earlier than market delta and the reason i say that is that if you're dealing on a second or third test trade and you still want to enter that market because the market's in a hard trend we're trending hard down and you, and, and you have a fibonacci retracement breaking lba then this will get you in what you'll do is you'll close you'll enter at the red close when it closes red, open up the next bar. It's got to be on support or resistance, so it's got to be on market profile. That sets everything up. And what I'll do, if it closes green at all, these blue bars don't count, that's a spinning top. If it closes green at all in the infancy of the trade, on an aggressive trade, just take a small loss or small profit. Most times, you're going to take a small profit if the trade doesn't work out. On market delta, if it doesn't work out on market delta, you typically will have a profit over here on the Renko. So it didn't turn green until we got all the way down to the lows of 5201 and the entry was 5221. So you had a $200 trade on your hands on the first initial push on a second test area trade. Almost a third test area trade. So what I'm saying is, is you can use this chart right here. If you think it's a second test area, because we only like first test areas, or it's trying to end top on you. If you're trying to trade an M-top, then you can enter with a close of the red on the J signal here. And if it closes green, any of these six bars going down, get yourself out at a real, the typical loss is going to be around five ticks, six ticks. But you could possibly have a $400, $600 trade on your hands. You're risking around 50, 60 bucks trying to make 600 bucks. So it's a really good reward to risk. I want to tell you that on, on M-tops and second test trades. I use that a lot in all markets. I use that technique. If you do four contracts, you go two in here, and you go two in market delta, right? You can do that also if you'd like. Now, if the market's hard trending, you just want to use market delta, that's fine. I'm just showing you on second test trades, it lowers your risk substantially. It's a really good technique I like to use. All right, so before I shut this off, I know this video because I want to show you what this is. You can see my, my volume profile has not moved on my, on my micro at all. 
My micro's not even moved. So if you want to put the micro up on your own charts, they really work well, it coincides well. Because that's the volume profile is now called the high to the tick. HVA is called the high to the tick this morning, two times stacked area. So that QM really works well besides this is the micro. And, and also, if you're going to trade the micro guys, don't go with the micro signals. Go with the uh, CL signals, meaning I would enter with the, if the CL has a sell signal, I would enter with the micro if you, if you want to do the micro instead of the big contract. The big contract has more of a push to it. The micro obviously has less of a reward, but also you get less risk. So the bottom line, though, is I'm trying to show you that if you're in a downtrend, you want to sell high value, first test of it, and break retest QM.